I'm Eve Brantley. I'm the Alabama Cooperative Extension System Water Resources Specialist. Both the quantity and quality of drinking water that you provide to your cattle influence their health and productivity. Cattle typically require between 7 to 20 gallons of water per day. This can change depending on several factors, including forage quality. Green forage has higher water content than dry forage. Season. Warmer temperatures will influence the consumption rate, increasing, of course, with the warmer temperatures. Humidity also plays a role. Higher humidity decreases the need for water consumption. Lastly, physiological state can influence the amount of water that cattle need. Water consumption increases with age, pregnancy, and lactation. A typical rule of thumb is two gallons per 100 pounds of body weight per day. Many cattle in Alabama rely on surface water as their source of drinking water. Improved quality of drinking water from these surface waters will improve the palatability of water. Increased water consumption can increase the amount of food that's able to be consumed. This leads to weight gain. Water that is polluted or full of contaminants is less palatable and therefore cattle will drink less of it. The less water, the less feed, the less weight gain. Contaminants may be naturally occurring, like salinity or iron, or introduced above natural levels, things like nitrates and pathogens. Soluble salts less than 1,000 milligrams per liter are considered safe to drink. Temperature can influence the palatability of drinking water for cattle. Cattle prefer temperatures between 40 and 65 degrees Fahrenheit. When water temperatures exceed 80 degrees Fahrenheit, consumption decreases. Pathogens are disease-causing organisms that are introduced into water from untreated animal waste. Consuming water with untreated animal waste can lead to health concerns. Nutrients in stagnant water can contribute to the growth of harmful algal blooms. Cyanobacteria, or blue-green algae, release toxins, also called microcystins, that can make cattle sick when they consume water tainted with it. Nitrate can be a concern in drinking water, especially at levels greater than 300 milligrams per liter. Safe nitrate levels for livestock drinking water are below 100 milligrams per liter. Nitrate is reduced to nitrite in a cattle's rumen. Nitrite limits the ability of red blood cells to carry oxygen, posing a health concern for cattle. Forages accumulate nitrate during drought periods. This, in addition to high levels of nitrate in drinking water, pose a potential lethal combination. It is not recommended for livestock to loaf in wet areas or wet soils. This increases the potential for transmission of soil-borne bacterium, like foot rot. How do we protect water quality for livestock? The first step is to know what you have. Test your drinking water source annually. The Auburn University Soil and Water Test Lab provides a test for 16 parameters of interest, including pH, nitrates, and total dissolved solids. In the southeast, we can experience temperature extremes in the summer, followed by short periods of very cold weather in the winter. This may make freeze-proof troughs with a floating ball top a desirable option to keep water clean and cool. Fence livestock out of ponds and streams. Maintain a healthy streamside forest along streams to protect these waterways. Protect the watershed of your drinking water source by keeping a healthy plant cover and minimizing the amount of chemicals and manure that have the opportunity to be transported to the waters. Consider piping the water from a stream or a pond to a tank. Limit the amount of time that cattle have access to streams and ponds to minimize the amount of untreated animal waste that may enter these systems. If there is a health concern and you suspect water is the problem, consult a veterinarian immediately to request assistance in determining the actual health concern. Thank you.